So over here, as you guys can see, lots of big buildings. You can even kind of see the beach a little bit. But over here, you can see kind of more like what seems to be almost like a village kind of lifestyle. One thing that I've realized is the people over here in this area right here seem just a tad bit more happy. I'm not gonna, they just seem a tad bit more happy. You know, I don't know if it's just being so close and surrounded by nature like how they are, but when you really zoom up into their life like I did on my a previous video, you guys will see they are really connected, man. They are really one with each other and one with nature. They're having so much good time, so much laughter, so much fun. Sometimes you'll hear music coming from down there, you know, and it just seems so simple. Things right here just seem so simple, y'all. I just can't even explain how simple it seems. But then when you get over here, you guys know as I travel, I'm in these type of buildings right here. So isolated from the outside world. I mean, it's like you're in a concrete jungle. Like, you know, it's just you're so isolated from any people, any human interaction. You know, and it just, everybody in these buildings, they're always working. They're always, you know, striving to be the greatest they can be. Also these people as well, but right here specifically, they're, you know, it's just something is beautiful about simplicity in life, man. I just wanted to come on here and say that something's just so beautiful about right here, how people can just be themselves and just kind of be there. You know, over here, we just know it's city life. You know, but here it's just so simple, man. I'm telling you guys, the kids is walking home at nighttime. They be walking home at different times. I mean, it could be midnight and you see seeing little kids walking around, playing ball. You know, it's just, it's a good, man. The girls is walking around feeling free. All right, y'all, we off to have a great time, man. I almost thought I forgot my pick. I ain't gonna lie, I almost had a panic attack. I ain't gonna lie to you. But, um, <laughs> look. How do you forget it? I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know, but we out to have a really good time we taking miss marmar to an amazing restaurant called okay and it's basically a revolving restaurant so it moves while you eat really really fun you ready i'm ready cool all right y'all here go to gym right here man very basic gym i thought it would be a bit more up in here but definitely good for your yoga that you're trying to get into right all right y'all so here go to supermarket this is in the downstairs area they got the small essentials that you may need i've been at this apartment for so long and i've never checked out the amenities so i'm doing that today all right the driver is waiting so we gotta go so what do you think about the gym the supermarket the restaurant's not open but the pool area from one to ten whole thing what would you give it five five mm. Yeah. I've been here so long and I've never seen all of that until today. So, very interesting. We made it. Ah, uh, yeah. And Miss Marmar looks so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She look good. The view look good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I just need to make this observation. Her food came out looking way better. Yep. She still ain't even ate hers, man. <laughs> Golly. You see, she ate a small little piece, but she moved it over. But, um, so we started off over there. Now we over here near the entrance. And she gonna, she's going to take a picture when she gets over there. That's when she's going to start eating food. So we're so close. You said what? Finally. <laughs> We made it to the water, y'all. We just switched seats to be real. So we out here eating, man. Marmar, the waiter literally came through and spilled a whole bunch of sauce on her whole entire outfit, bro. I'm pissed off right now. Like, it's crazy as hell, bro. Like, a restaurant like this should definitely not have stuff like that happen, bro. Crazy. Well, 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 to be honest, yeah, yeah. I know it's not on purpose. I know it's not on purpose, but I'm letting you know that, like, you know, when somebody ruins somebody's outfit, you know, it's just like usually they'll cover the outfit. Like that's just how it works. But I don't know how much your outfit costs, but I think it's only right that, like, you know, we take off something. You know, let's make it fair. You know, oh, take off some something. We can't yeah. do that. So, so. You guys can't take off something from the meal. Okay, so pay me. So no, no. So then, the then we'll just. Well, just it's cool. I don't mind paying the whole thing because I came here to pay anyways. But we will refund her for how much her outfit is. I think that's fair. Because we did not come here for her to get sauce spilled on her outfit. That makes no sense. So, of course, you know, it's cool. I don't mind paying the whole order. But 
To pay the whole order, she will need some type of refund, reimbursement for her outfit. It's only fair, since we're being fair. Reimbursement for her outfit. Yes, we're gonna need something, cause that's, that's crazy. Yeah, he act like I want a discount or something. I don't care about a discount. I came here knowing I was gonna pay, you know, but if I came here to pay a pretty penny, not just for the food, for the atmosphere, right? So the thing about the atmosphere is, you want a professional atmosphere, one that's not spilling food on the person. You know, I don't like that. I do not like that. Africa is such an adventure, y'all. And you look like an ebony golden locks. I'm not gonna lie. You know golden locks? No. And the golden, lock, golden locks and the three bears? No. It was about some white girl like named Dorothy or something like that. That's how you kind of look. Mm. You know, it's just the outfit. The outfit's like blue with like, you know, the hair and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know I had to show baby girl the Django. Y'all know I had to show her the truth, man. So y'all can barely see me, but I'm just gonna tell y'all real quick what happened. Indian dude inside of a Tanzanian restaurant, what's new? Um, the guy owns the place, that's why I kept muting the um, the sound um, so you guys don't have to hear the name of the restaurant because I don't wanna give you guys a bad restaurant to go to that has bad customer service. Basically, we went into the Indian restaurant. Um, good vibes, it's a rotating restaurant, so that means it kinda like moves and spins as you're eating your food. Um, what happened was I took Marmar there. I wanted us to have a great experience. Unfortunately, you know, um, the waitress had spilled some stuff onto Marmar's clothes. So I told the Indian owner, you know, I told the people that I want to speak with the manager. I told the Indian owner, I said, we didn't come here to get, you know, um, stuff spilled onto my shorty outfit. So, you know, um, what the Indian dude, he ended up saying was that, oh, uh, I mean, well, there's not much we can do, sir. And I said, not much you can do. I said, well, because I was trying to be really professional. I'm like, if it was your shorty, like, how would you feel? You know, of course, I cut some pieces out. But, you know, I was like, if it was your shorty, how would you feel? You know, and then I said, you know, OK, you know, I think the best thing we could do is just take something off the order and we'll call it a day. Because I was thinking about just refunding Marmar, you know, for her outfit. The Indian dude tells me, oh, um, nah, uh, we can't take anything off the order. I'm like, it's cool. Then refund shorty outfit. Like, you know, I'm not tripping like that, but we will have to refund something. You know, something's got to give. We didn't come here to get her outfit messed up, did we? This is a high-end restaurant. I'll even wager it's one of the most high-end restaurants in all of uh, Dar es Salaam. Because, you know, I like to treat the, the chicks that's with me for a while, you know, and they've been showing pretty good behavior. I want to treat them pretty well to show them that I appreciate, you know, them for being the great person they are. Um, you know, uh, of course, still dating, still trying to get to know these ladies, um, especially when it comes to this polygamous journey. But for, you know, the time being, you know, these are some, well, at least for Marmar, she's a pretty good woman so far. You know, there's been a few hiccups in a row, but, you know, um, nothing that we can't overcome. Um, when it comes to the, the restaurant owner, it was just so disrespectful when he just said, oh, what can we do and all this stuff. So then eventually at the end, he tells us that, Oh, okay, uh, that's no problem. I'll refund you for her outfit and we'll take something off of the meal um, in the same amount of for her outfit. That's the, basically what I was asking from the beginning, but the idiot dude didn't know. I guess that's what I was asking. Um, they just kind of give anybody these manager positions. Um, so uh, then what happens is the, the, the manager of the place comes and tells us the money's going to be taken out of your waiter's, uh, your waiter's paycheck. So the Tanzanian woman, of course, she's a waiter and she comes to me and mama and she's like, please, please. Like, and she starts crying and I'll tell her like, shorty, like, this is why you have to be more careful. And earlier in the day, I had asked you, you know, if you can pass me some salt. I ended up having to go to another table myself and getting the salt for myself, you know, because you didn't even remember what I asked you. You know, and that wasn't even a big issue. The big issues was she's like, I don't know if she, I don't know if she was on something. It just, she just spilled something on, you know, Marmar's outfit and it was totally ruined. And I told her, I said, you know what? I said, cause she was crying. I don't want to see these Tanzanian women at the end of the day, even though we're distant relatives, you know, and I'm sure they wouldn't do the same for us. They would technically, they would definitely make us pay uh, for in full for the situation. But I just told her, I said, you know what? It's cool. You can pay half. You know, so they gave us a refund of half, you know, Marmar's outfit. Excuse me, y'all. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's that was the whole situation. And, um, you know, Marmar still got her refund. I just gave her the rest of the money for the outfit. But I didn't want to see a Tanzanian woman crying like that in, in front of all these white and Indian people, guys. It's just, 
Nah, man. That, but she still ended up crying and she still threw a little pissy fit and stuff like that. But, you know, it was an interesting moment, too, because the Indian dudes, they walked over, both managers, they walked over to the woman and they would like cornered her in like this corner. I thought I was going to have to go over there because I'm like, why are they cornering her like this while she's crying? But, you know, then she came over, please, please, they're going to take it out of my account and all this stuff. It was a whole roller coaster of, of things going on. But, you know, Marmar at the end of the day was happy that she got her refund for her outfit. And I was happy that they still respected the refund thing. Excuse me, guys. Y'all know I don't be this unprofessional, but clearly this is Mother Nature telling me I have to end this uh, video. So I'm going to talk to y'all later, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Holla.